How are laboratory reference ranges determined? Are there some ranges that have more scrutiny and maybe require further research? So this is one thing that I wish more people would know are actually, what is a reference range? So a reference range is where if you have 100 healthy people and you were to test that marker, let's say TSH, on those 100 people, you take the 95 people that are in the middle and that is the range. It seems fairly arbitrary. It's, it's not, it is embedded in statistics. And so 95% of the population will fall within the normal range, which also means that 5% of the population being completely healthy will normally fall outside of that range. Just because you have a value that falls outside of the reference range does not mean that there is something wrong. That's one thing that, that needs to, to be clear. I, I see a lot of patients that they see, oh, their CO2 is too high, or this is 0.1 too low. And it, it really it really doesn't mean as much as you might think just because there's a flag there. The other thing that people should know about reference ranges are that you can have shifts within that range and still be considered normal, but yet you're having symptoms of an issue. And that's where you really need to look at your previous values to see, has there been a shift? Thyroid, especially TSH, is very, very common to have this, where you can have a normal TSH value of, say, 1.9, and then start being symptomatic of hypothyroidism and end up with, you know, a TSH of 5, and it's still in the normal range, but you are now having symptoms of low thyroid. And yep, I said low because TSH is, is actually the opposite. So when it goes up, your thyroid is actually low. When the TSH goes down, your thyroid is actually overactive. So it's, a, it's an opposite effect there. So just because something says that it's normal doesn't necessarily mean that it is. If you are having symptoms of something and your doctor just dismisses it and says, hey, everything is normal, it's fine. You know, consider that these values do need a little bit more scrutiny.